Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. Today I want to talk with you about how you can create a task model for Microsoft Teams. First of all, let me say that a task model is nothing more than a pop-up model dialog that we can render in the UI of the Microsoft Teams client, whether it is the web client or the desktop client. Inside a task model, we can render some HTML and JavaScript content, we can render an iframe to include external content, or we can render an adaptive card. We can trigger a task module using either an action in a tab, whether it is a personal or a configurable tab. We can use a message sent from a bot, or we can use a deep link, which is just an hyperlink that we can include in a conversation in Teams, or in an email, or in a document, or any other external resource. And by clicking on the deep link, the user will be brought to the Microsoft Teams UI and will see the task module in action. A task module under the cover simply leverages the Microsoft Teams tab infrastructure and as such we can think about a task module as a Teams tab inside a pop-up model dialog. So let me move to the demo environment, let me show you how to create a task module in practice. First of all let's have a look at the solution in action. Here we have a personal tab for Microsoft Teams in which we have a couple of buttons. The show playlist button will allow us to see in a task model, and as you can see, it is just a pop-up model dialog. We can see in this task model the video content of a playlist in the PSC Tech Bytes YouTube channel. And here we have all of the videos in the current playlist, which is the Microsoft Teams one. We also have another button which will show another uh, task model to select what the target playlist is. For example, I can switch to the Microsoft Graph playlist, I can update, and as you can see here now, I can show the playlist of Microsoft Graph with all of the videos uh, covering Microsoft Graph related topics. So how did I build this uh, solution? Well, first of all, I used the Yeoman generator for Teams. So using Yo Teams, I created the Microsoft Teams solution and using Visual Studio Code, I configured my solution. So let me switch to Visual Studio Code and let me show you the solution uh, from a code point of view. Here we have a tab, which is the one we were uh, seeing before in the UI of Microsoft Teams. And in this tab, which inherits from Teams-based component, we simply configured a state which includes the playlist ID and the playlist name, display name, that we want to use in order to hold the information about the selected playlist. Then we have in the render method of the React component, which will provide the basic functionality for our team tab, we have a couple of buttons. These two buttons come out from the uh, Fluent UI uh, set of React components. So, by clicking on the Show Playlist button, I will uh, trigger this On Show Playlist uh, function, and the On Show Playlist function will simply configure an object uh, of type Task Model Info, and in there we will configure the title of the dialog or the task model that will be rendered, the URL which will be rendered inside the task uh, uh, model, and we will also define the size, so width and height of the task model in the UI. And then we simply say through the SDK of Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Teams dot tasks dot start task, and we provide the task model info object. This will trigger the rendering of the uh, show playlist uh, pop-up model dialog. Moreover, the one that we use, the task model that we use to collect or to select the target playlist is another um, tab that we created for the sake of uh, requesting to the user to select a target playlist. To render that one, we have a different function, which will still create a task model info object, still with a title, with a URL for the content, and with a, a size for the dialog. But we also create a submit handler function, which we will use in order to get back the selected information. So we will get back when the user will submit the selection, the playlist ID and the playlist display name, which we will store in the state of our React component. And we still use the Microsoft Teams SDK dot tasks dot start task. We still provide the task model info, but we also provide 
the submit handler function which will be invoked as soon as the user will close the pop-up modal dialog. Inside the playlist selector tax model, we simply have a React component. Let me show you. First of all, we have a .html file which will do the actual rendering of the HTML of our task module. And in there, we simply render the task module uh, React component. This is again extending the team-based component. In the component will mount, we simply get from the query string the information about the currently selected playlist ID and playlist display name to sync the drop down to the selected value. Then in the render method, again, we provide a drop down from the Fluent UI set of components, providing all of the playlists available in my solution. And the list of playlists is just a JSON file that I'm including using the require right here. And then when the user will click on the button to update the selection, we will simply do what? We will handle the selection, so we will configure a result object, and we'll still use the Microsoft Teams SDK to access the tasks object and to say submit task, providing the result. So this will close the pop-up modal dialog and will send back the selection to the tab so that we will be able to collect the selected information and to update the uh, backend infrastructure, the backend state uh, in my component. So we will go here and update the state. In order to render the playlist by itself, we have another HTML page, which will do the actual rendering of the YouTube URL for a specific playlist, uh, including the ID of the playlist to render. And then we will simply place the content inside a div container. So really simple and straightforward. From a manifest point of view, our team solution will include a static tab, which will simply uh, represent the definition of our PSC Stack Byte personal tab that we will use to interact with the solution. Of course, if we like, we can also use a deep link or a, an action, an actionable message or an adaptive card inside the UI. For example, I can show you here in the general channel of this team, I have an adaptive card, which includes a button which will trigger the rendering of my uh, task module, as well as I can simply have uh, in a conversation a message with a deep link targeting my uh, target task module. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.